As you might know, I've been planning to make some remakes in time to come. While I'm not actually able to begin filming them yet, I have plenty of time to prepare for them. I only need two more engines, then I would have my entire Tomy engine fleet ready for remakes. The only trains that I needed were Daisy and Douglas. Now Tomy or Trackmaster never made Daisy, so I know that I'd have to make a custom of her, but Tomy did actually make Douglas. Perfect. I just need to buy one and- What the fu- For some reason, Tomy Douglas is one of those stupidly expensive Tomy items that are quite hard to get for a reasonable price. Sort of like Oliver, but it makes more sense that he is rare because he was only released in Australia and Japan. My Douglas model was actually made out of my childhood Donald that had long since been replaced. His model had been sitting in my spare parts bin for around 4 years, and his model had a number of problems. His motor was totally dead, he had a huge hole in the front of his buffer beam, and he was entirely missing a tender. Actually, that was not strictly true. Me and my father had actually tried to make a new tender for him out of an old troublesome truck, but for the standards I was going for with this custom, that was not going to fly at all. I started by gluing his smoke box back onto his boiler and then filling in the huge crack in his buffer beam with clay. I was worried about how this might turn out, but in the end it actually looked pretty good. I also cut a hole into the front of the buffer beam for a front coupling. Originally, Douglas was going to be a dummy engine and not actually run under his own power. While the clay was setting, I took some scans of Donald's decals and uploaded them to my computer where I could edit them. I also grabbed an extra truck that I had lying around and took the chassis off of it. I then cut off and sanded down the front buffers. I was also sanding down the sides of the original truck tender thing to remove the wooden plank detailing, which didn't go super well, but I ended up just sticking a bit of paper to the side of the tender, and that covered up everything pretty well. I then used some more clay to make Douglas a new mouth. Don't worry, it'll look much better once the paint is dried. There we go. I also used a hole puncher to make Douglas's portholes. I gave Douglas's buffer beam a few more coats of red, and then gave him his first and last test drive as a dummy unit. I also added another axle box to the tender, as Donald also has three despite only having two wheels on either side. Then I found a whole new working motor unit for Douglas. It did not fit perfectly, and because of that Douglas is not the best runner, but he does run, and if he struggles he always has Donald to help him. Then I printed out Douglas's new decals. They were a bit small, but not so much to really bother me. And here they are, the Scottish twins running together for the first time. This project actually took me nearly three days to complete, mostly because of printer issues, and I did get frustrated with the model a few times, mostly trying to fit in the new motor. I might come back to it and try and improve the model later on, but for now my Douglas will do the trick for me. 